Hello everyone, this is Curtis with Lee Wanker Lawn Care. Hey, I'm back again to share another lawn care video with you there. Hey, I just showed up at a lawn here, and what I'm going to be doing here is uh, mowing this one here. Uh, get it all just trimmed up, edged up, and everything on it. It's been raining a lot, so got me behind here on uh, doing some uh, lawn care work there. It's just been a lot of rain off and on flooding tornadoes all of that it's been going on back this way so now uh, i'm just catching a break to uh get over and take care of this here customer's lawn there has been needing it and well they decided to uh get in contact with me to come over and see if i can get them all cleaned up again so that's what i'm gonna be doing today in this here video right here i'm gonna see if i can get them all mowed up and you know, just get it, get it looking good again for them. And till they let it get in this condition again, that's uh, normally when they call me when it gets in this condition. As you see, but I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it. I'm going uh, to I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and everything for them, get it back looking good again here. And it's just going to take a few minutes here. As you see right now, what I'm doing, I'm basically... Uh, Getting the more off of the truck here. I'm gonna get it all. Uh, if I can get it all started up here and uh, get it into the lawn and see if I can get it all uh, mowed up and everything for him here. So just gonna take some time to uh, get this one back looking good. So just bear with me and uh, hey, I'm gonna see if I can get it in this lawn here and get it all cleaned up. And what I what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna bag this front here because uh, you know it just needs it needs to be bagged. The front needs to be really bagged here because it's got a lot of little weeds and sprigs in it. So to give it a good clean appearance, I'm gonna be using a bagger on the front here so that I can get it all uh, cleaned up and all. So uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing, guys. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna walk this one down. I would use the selkie, but due to the um, the rain and you know the saturation of ground is soft in some areas there and working with the silky on there would put a lot of ruts in the lawn so I won't be using the silky I'm gonna basically be walking this one here all the way down because I don't want to have any ruts in it and you know the weight of the moor is still kind of heavy but it won't um, it won't run up as much as me standing on the silky and the moors you know uh, pulling me behind it so i um, basically i walk this down because you know with the weight it will put ruts in the line so that's why you'll see me walk and i won't use a selfie unless it was real dry 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 ground but since it's not so dry i'm going to be walking this one all the way down so i'm gonna uh, get it all uh mowed up here and get everything all bagged up on the front here so I'm gonna see if I can get it all looking good here. So give me a few minutes, stick with me guys, stick with me and you'll see the whole uh, process of me mowing this and, and getting it all uh, mowed down and uh, I'll share also me uh, trimming it up here with the trimmer and all, getting it all edged up, uh, the front and the back. And you know, we'll, we'll see the results here after I put the time in, you know, you gotta put some time in on it because that's what it takes to get them all looking good. It just takes a little time and you'll be uh, amazed of uh, the outcome when you put that time in and when you look back at it and you're like, wow, look what I was able to accomplish, a good clean result of mowing a lawn again. Oh yeah. So as you can see right here, I'm walking around, it's already appearing to look better as I walk around with the more with the background there. You see that? Oh yeah. This you know just takes a little bit of time there to put in there. Cause and right here you want to walk slow with it too because like I say the ground is wet. Sandwich. And you know I, I, I said is in the beginning it's been raining a lot and we had some bad weather back this way so uh, uh, still kind of wet but 
we gonna get it clean and we ain't gonna make a mess. We just gonna make it look good for what we have right here. We're gonna have some wet, soggy ground, but we gonna manage to walk over this ground and not make a mess out of it. And as you can see, that's what I'm doing right here. Not making a mess, but getting some good clean results here by using the bag right here on the front and getting it looking good. Oh yeah. So that's what I'm doing guys. That's what I'm doing here in this one right here. So um and, you know I'm just walking, I'm thinking about it, thinking about it. And uh looking at it and I'm saying okay, alright it's looking good. As we uh walk along this right here. And well, I didn't have my hat on, but I, it was it was cool today. Now normally I would have my hat on because hey, that sun be beaming down on you, on you, and it, hey, it'll burn your head. But it's cool today, so I reached and I just grabbed the earmuffs from the truck. But I had my hat in the seat. I just didn't get it. But normally I have my hat on my head. But it wasn't no sun out today, so I'm I'm okay. I would. No, I, I I I wouldn't be out there walking around without my hat on because that sun ain't that nice when it's hot, when it's when it's shining out there. Hello? But it's just cool now. Uh, that was another call. Somebody needing some service, but uh, hey, that's what they called and uh, got back to it. Right now. So what it is, I'm over here on this other side here, and I'm gonna see if I can get it. I'll uh, mow it up over here. It's as you can see right here uh, I got some weeds right there uh, we're gonna get them weeds all bagged up and everything we're gonna get it looking good we're working on this front so we just really want to get the front all trimmed up get it you know get it all looking good so we're gonna get this here side we managed to get the other side all taken care of so now we got the other side over here that we're working on so we're gonna spend a few minutes here trying to get this here all cleaned up walking down as you can see right here i'm bagging it and it's picking it up picking up all the little weeds in there sometimes you have to go over these a number of times because due to the nature of the uh the grass some of it will lay down and pop back up as you walk over it well here i'm i'm keeping a close eye on it and making sure that if that happens that i can go back over it so that it's going to look clean have a good smooth clean cut in the level so as you can see I'm with the bagger it picks up all of the, the debris up from the uh, from the grass there so yeah just spending a few minutes guys finish a few minutes on this side and once we get this here all mowed up then we'll be headed to the back but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm gonna get this here all clean up in the front and then I'm going to uh, get the trimmer and see about if I can uh, get that all trimmed up, edged up right here in the front. And then I'll head to the back and get that one all trimmed up around there. And uh, see if I can get that uh, looking good back in the back. Meanwhile, we're just basically concentrating here on the front of uh, getting the front looking good. And it just, you know take some time to get it we're gonna get it we're gonna get it uh, as long as we uh, stay at it we will get it and that's what we're doing we're staying at it and we're gonna get a good result here a good clean appearance result here in a few minutes as as I keep putting the time in and keep keep the more moving that's right that's the way you do it guys that's the way you do it keep it moving keep it moving and you'll get some good results when you keep things moving now. Yeah, and like I say, it's not, uh, it's, it's kind of humid out here, but it ain't real, real hot today, so it was just kind of humid here. So, um, yeah, I can kind of work with that. So right now, I parked the more, and what I'm doing is, uh, I'm going over to, uh, get the trimmer and see if I can get the trimmer over here and get this here all edged up and all. So give me a minute. I'm just um getting the trimmer all ready to uh, bring it up. 
bring it over on this here side and see if I can put that edge on there and get it all trimmed up and all. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna get the trimmer there and you see where the grass is kind of hanging over the curb right there. Yeah, as you can see right there, I got the four line trimmer line on there. And you see how that's, how that's whipping that down? There we go. That's right, it's gonna whip that down now. So I wanna get it get it all trimmed up real real good, get a good edge job on it. And I must say with that heavy duty line there, it will do the job. It'll definitely get it all trimmed up for you. See how quick that that is with that? Oh yeah. Yep. See ya. There we go. So now we we're just gonna shave a little bit of that off around. I'm gonna walk it all the way down. Trim it all up on this here side. Walk it on down there. We're gonna go all the way up up to the house and around the foundation. See if we can get that all trimmed up right there. It's gonna take a little, take a, well, it's gonna take a little time right in here. Got a few little weeds in here. Just need to get that all whacked down. So that's what you see me doing right here. Oh yeah, we, we, we're getting it. It's shaping up slowly but surely. It will getting it uh, shaped up here. So we're just going to uh, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it till I get it. As you can see right here, yeah, up there, I'm uh, trimming up around that uh, foundation of the home. There's a little gas meter and all of that little concrete patch where they have, uh, I think it was an air conditioning unit right up there. So I want to trim up around there, get that out trimmed up and cleaned up right there around the fence up there and then I'm gonna uh, take and bring it on back down this here way get it all trimmed up there yeah as you can see right there so you see what I'm doing right here I'm, I'm, I'm headed back coming back down so I want to get that air get that uh, that edge on there real good so you see me that's what I'm doing right there I'm walking back Walking back along right here and just edging it again. So that's where you have a good clean edge. Yeah, see that? There we go. Got it. Got it. So now we're gonna take and uh, move over to the other side. And we're gonna work over here and see if we can get this here all edged up over here on this here side right in here yeah we're gonna get that okay so now i'm gonna edge it right here walk along we're walking along right here and there we go there we go getting it see that getting that edge on there get that area right in there looking good so sometimes you have to uh, go over the time or two now meanwhile y'all guys you know I'm, I'm, I'm still working in this this lung is wet so I gotta make it look the best I can make it look while it's wet and it's cleaning up it's cleaning up I must say it's cleaning up and as you can see right in here I'm uh, trimming these uh, weeds out of here a little bushy or weeds and all so trimming that all the way around right there getting that all trimmed up here and all this the tree here so we got some stuff right in there we want to get that out just want to level it off right here get that good and clean see there we go yeah, and I'm gonna say that trim line that I'm using is that's some good trim line there. It really uh it does a good job for is uh whacking some weeds down and the nature and grass and all. So you see right here, I'm gonna get this here all portion right here around in the little flower area area right in there. Two little locks right in here, so you gotta be careful. So you just wanna watch what I'm doing because I do have an automobile over there so we got to make sure that we're doing this in a safe manner right in here. You know, just walk around right in there and trim the area right in there. And trim it over in here. 
So get a good, get a good trim job, get that leveled off right in there. Let's see right there. Trim it up right in here. Then I'll, I'll have to take and blow that and, you know, just go back over and on. If I can get it all trimmed out in here, get this area right in here looking good, as you can see right there. It's got some, uh, Just some grass growing in it. Looked like one of the bushes have uh, uh, died. Yeah. So that, like that needs to be taken out. But we'll wait for the customer to cut some ass out to remove it from them. Or they may move, they may remove it, I don't know. More as they'll see. But meanwhile, I'm just here to clean this up, make it look good for them. Give it a good clean appearance right in here. You can see that's what I'm doing right there. Walking along right here. Just edging it up right in that area right there. Yep, yeah, so just going along, going along and uh, getting it. Uh, little bit by little bit, but we're getting it. We got it mowed, so now we uh we're getting it trimmed up right here in the front. Spend a little time in the front. And then we're gonna go back to the back and spend some time and get that all looking good. So yeah, I'm aging up uh, along the uh, foundation and the fence right there. I'm gonna trim that up, get the grass that's uh, bushing up right in there, get that all trimmed up right there. As you can see, oh yeah. Just taking a little time right in here. Getting that out of there. Yep. There we go. There we go. We're getting it, guys. We're getting it. We, um, we're getting an accomplishment. So, as I say, to get that accomplishment, you just got to keep it moving, keep it moving. And pretty soon you will have it all completed. You have a good looking lawn, a good clean appearance in the front lawn. Just go over it and go over it. And these be some, well, what I want to say is this is a point where it becomes very challenging when you're working in some lawn and you know that it's been wet. As you can see, it's still kind of wet right in there, so I'm walking along. But I'm going to make do because we need to get this one here all cleaned up, get it off the list at the customer. Uh, get the property back in. Uh, good looking condition so now we made it to the back and so what we're gonna do right here we're gonna get this here all shaped up in the back back here we're gonna see if we can get it cleaned up you see how the back is looking yeah it's done got a uh, got kind of high right in in there but that's no problem we're gonna, we're gonna get it all cleaned up we're gonna get that back looking just like the front took a time and we got the front all cleaned up, so now we're gonna get the back all cleaned up. So we're gonna spend some time. So what I wanna do back here in the back, I'm gonna take and uh, get everything all aged up along the foundation and the fence. And then I will take and bring the more back here and get this here all mowed, uh, mowed down. Yep, but uh, just gonna take, you know, Take a few minutes and uh, we're gonna make it look good. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna get this looking good back here. Just wanna get it edged up real good. Bring it on down, bring it on down. And, and what you see me, you know, when you're getting close to the house, I always like when you're using uh, heavy equipment if you're near, near a house, you always wanna uh, take and trim it up. You don't want the more to, uh, be close to the house. If you can, you you can, uh, especially when it's wet and all, because sometimes, you know, ground is soggy, it can slip or move a certain way and then controlling it. But it's best to just get it all trimmed up and everything and then mow it. That way it's more, it's more than I would say, safer. You have a good, safe, clean mow by doing it that way. And so that's what you see me doing this here in the back. Cause what it is I want to take and uh, 
get it all trimmed up away from the uh, away from the house and away from the fence and you know just have a good safe more you know I don't want to have it too close to the fence or anything so I, basically I just want to make sure that I get this here all trimmed up right here and then I'll take the mower I don't have to get close to the fence with the mower and all so we're not going to be worried about no uh, or can I say slipping and sliding and all of that? No, we just want to rub it off so that we can stay in the center of the yard for the morning for safety purposes. No, we don't want nothing. You know how it is with rain. Sometimes that stuff will come loose, boards, anything, fence. It's been raining a lot. Some things will fall over on you, anything. So, because the ground is soft. So, we just don't know uh, what's... Uh, can I say what is studying, what is not studying? So we ain't gonna take no chances of finding out what's studying and not studying. So we just gonna edge it up first and we're gonna stay away from stay away from that fence with the AV equipment. We're just gonna stay away. We got it edged up and we're gonna stay within the lawn and get that mode. Therefore if something is gonna come a little as well, we already have spotted it before we got some heavy equipment in there so but this, this is just a safety this is just me doing it. this is just the way I do it everybody has their way of doing things and I have my way of doing things and so this is just what I do for me it's what works for me you know and I just throw out some tips of what I do for myself and how I do it so now you guys what you see me doing is I'm headed towards front and I'm gonna get the mower and uh, bring it to the back and see if I can uh, get this air all mowed up. So here we go. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get all this mowed up. We, you see the way it's looking. It's not gonna be looking like that in a few minutes. It's gonna be looking good because I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna uh, mow it down. And that's what we're working on. Working on getting it all mowed down and getting it all cleaned up for the customer that's right we want to keep the customer happy we want to give the customer a good clean appearance and so that's what we're doing give them that good clean appearance back here so as we already took care of the front so now we're going to take care of the back like we took care of the front we're going to make it look good back in the back so it's going to take a few minutes we gonna get it we gonna get it that's like the way we always do it. we get in there and we get it done and as you can see I got the more I told you I'm gonna bring the more back here and see we just walk along walk along right here and we're gonna get this here out looking good and and that's the way you do it keep it looking good keep it looking good in order to keep it looking good, you just got to work at it and keep it looking good. And everything will be all right. Yep. So you see, it, 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 I mean, this stuff is kind of high. It's kind of thick and all. But, it, you know, we're going to walk it on down here. We're going to get it. And like I say, I don't, I'm not using the soaky because of the weight. Because this ground is still wet in some areas and sometimes when you use the silk and stuff on wet grounds and stuff you put ruts in there and it will uh, basically uh, mess up the turf but we don't want not, we don't want to mess up anything so we're not going to mess it up because we're going to walk it down and get it mowed we're going to get it mowed down by walking it down and uh, making it look good here yep and, and when you're working in these it takes it takes some time to uh, get these types of lawn all um, mowed up and all, especially when they they're not on a uh, a schedule or you know getting mowed regular and all. This is one of these things. Uh, they'll call on a basis once it rolls up and all of that. Then you know, hopefully, well, if you're available, you may be able to. Uh, accommodate the customer come over and see if you can uh clean it up for them if you're available 
you know, normally they, they wait till like that. Now, you know, it just so happened I was available and I was able to come over and uh, help this customer with this. But had I not been available, bro, hmm, they'd be looking for somebody else to uh, try to come over and uh, help them. But I'm here, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to help them. I'm going to get it back looking good for them. It's just going to take a little time and getting it uh, cleaned up for them. So that's that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm uh, walking this one on down, walking it on down. So it's going to, you know, take it's going to take a few minutes back here in this backyard to uh, get that looking good for them. So that's what I'm doing here. You see me walking it down, walking it down. And, you know, and especially this time of season is when you uh, really, you start getting a lot of rain and all. And so you have to be prepared for this type of uh, work environment because you're getting a lot of rain back this way. I mean, it may go a week or two weeks, no rain. Then all of a sudden it start raining again. It may rain every day. And then it, you know, it try to dry out a little bit, then it gets back wet again and all. But this right here is just, oh, it's just been bad. I mean, bad. I mean, the weather, the weather constraints are just, we don't know from, from week to week, from month to month. We just don't know what type of weather we're going to have. And you have to be prepared for that because uh, it can... Uh, well, it can be it can be something else because I've dealt with a lot of this over the years, uh, dealing with uh, different weather conditions. I mean, storms, tornadoes, floods, and all of that, and trying to uh, take care of some lawns and all, and some of that stuff. <laughs> it was a headache, and when I say a headache, it was a headache because it would. You're raining so much, and then the customer's calling you, and they're looking at the news that it's raining and it's storming, and they call and talk about mowing their lawn. I'm like, you want me to mow your lawn, and it's storming out here? And I'm like, I don't think so. I don't think so. You can't wait till it stops raining and dry up and stuff stops flying around out in the air. Then you can get out there and do it yourself. That's the way I feel about it because I ain't getting out there. And they're telling you if you don't have to leave home, don't leave home because you may not make it back home. You could get stranded. And you're like, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't trying to go nowhere to get stranded. That lawn, that customer can't wait. And if they can't wait, then maybe they can find someone else or get out there and do it themselves the way I see it because I'm like, nope. Nope, it ain't worth it. End up costing you more than what you're gonna get. Uh, fooling around with some customers like that, you know. But I had a lot of them like that. They uh, forget that it rained, or forget that it flooded. And I'm like, hmm. well, I didn't forget. I know that it flooded because I'm like, that's what the, your business is based upon. You gotta know the weather conditions. Is it gonna be hot? cold, what, wet, dry, what. And if it's too hot, you don't want to be out there and you catch a heat stroke, your body get too hot and you just can't do it. And you get sick. What do you think the customer going to do? What do you think the customer going to do? They going to get somebody else? So why are you going to go out there and get yourself sick? You No. You keep yourself well state where that you don't go out there and get yourself sick running behind some lung you know because if it's too hot it's just too hot you know you can't do it you can't do it don't do it don't overexert yourself or hurt yourself you know, do what you can you know do what when I'm saying do what you can and what you feel comfortable with doing you do it then if you don't feel like you can do it then just don't do it don't worry about it 
you know, at least you can at least you can look back and say, well, I got another day. Then you go out there and overexert yourself, and then you won't have another day. You know, you'd be like, oh man, why? Well, and no answers now because it's over with for you. So no, just take your time and do what you can in a timely manner. And if you got someone that can't see to uh, wait or uh, you know, and that made over impatient or want it now, and then that, let them have it. Get somebody else. That's the way I always do it. Get you somebody else. <laughs> it's no sweat. Get you somebody else. You know, and that's basically in anything. If somebody can't wait for uh, good results or someone to come and take care of them, help them. Get you somebody else. Because it. Look around. World full of people. Plenty of people do it. That's the way it have to be. I don't care what you in, what kind of business you in, what are you doing? You know, somebody can't wait. They just can't wait. Let them go. It ain't what well, you it ain't bother you no way. You know, it ain't nothing gonna bother you anyway. Whether they can't wait or whatever. At least it don't bother me. But uh, I don't mind helping you. You know, if I can. But uh, if you can't wait, you just can't wait. And that's just the way it is, guys. And you gotta work in your own favor for you, for your safety and for your health. If you get sick and you laying up, ain't none of them gonna show up. Mm-mm. Trust me, they ain't showing up. Mm-mm. They worried about, oh well, he didn't do oh, mm, oh please. Where with that? Keep moving. Keep moving. Do what you can do while you can do it. And just be happy. Be happy about whatever you do and what you can do. And what you can't do, be happy about it. You know, because uh, it's your life. You only got one life to live. So you want to live it good and uh, be happy about living it. And don't, as I'll say again, don't overexert yourself uh, as worrying about a lot of stuff that you have no control over. I mean, you don't know when the next storm, a tornado, a fluid, or rain is going to happen. But you can't worry about it. But what you can do is be happy and thankful with what you have and do something with that and just go on. And as you see, this is, this is what I do. I, I take my time. I get the lawn mode for them. And uh, I go on. I move to another one. If they want me to come, I come. If they don't want me to come, I don't come. Which I ain't looking to be coming no way because I'm retired and I just do this on a uh, spare time. It's just me doing some spare time, just something to do. Uh, not that I have to do it because I don't. But I just do this, just to uh, come in a little spare time. I got a little spare time and I don't mind going and doing something, then I'll go and do it. Other than that, I'll be like, no. I'm going to be chilling and doing what I want to do, taking it easy. And that's basically what I do. And that's, that's going to go for everything that I do. Whenever I take a notion to do something, I'll do it. If I don't want to do it, I just don't do it. And that's just the way it is for me. Taking it easy. I'm enjoying myself, guys. Enjoying and having fun. Yep. So that's, that's what you see me doing right here. Uh, just taking some time. Taking care of this your lawn, um, getting it all mowed up for this customer here, where they, you know, they, well, you know the condition that it was in when I when I showed up. So you're seeing the results the way it's looking now that I I put some time in and walking it down and getting it all mowed. You see it, so uh, you see it shaping up. It's shaped up walk by walk I got it all shaped up here and yo got it all shaped up but anyway guys hope you've enjoyed the video it's about time for me to get on out of here all right 